Greetings, I am Paige Lee, a professional MBA candidate from Tampa, Florida. And today I'd like everyone to pause for a moment and take the time to think about your day-to-day -day activities and your satisfaction at work. Think about how you feel in the workplace environment and how productive the environment truly allows. Now, think about your favorite place of serenity, productivity, and relaxation. Imagine your greatest worry and most important factor when looking for job opportunities and work-life balance completely disappearing. Work-life balance is a simplistic solution to a very, very critical problem. Now, imagine something called corporate fuse. Corporate fuse is the concept of work and life uniting and becoming one versus pitting the two against each other. Aside from a corporate perspective, corporate fuse can be applied to non-corporate positions as well. It is truly the workplace of the future. Today, I'm not going to focus on teaching anything, but what I will do is broaden your scope about the way you create your livelihood. Why is it that humans allow power and personal decision-making to lie not in the hands of themselves, but in the hands of their respective employers, when in fact, the opposite should be true. In the near future, the way that we move through our daily lives will rapidly change. And it's very important to think about the factors that will be affected. Our commute, our workplace, and our personal lives and the interaction between all three. When it comes to our daily commute, automated vehicle technology is happening. And to be quite frank, there's nothing that we can do about it. Within the next five to 10 years, our public transportation systems, ride hailing systems will become fully automated. And this is expected to have a $7 trillion economy fully automated, meaning that the vehicle can operate completely alone without supervision in all conditions. Now, this concept has already began in Pittsburgh with the application of self-driving Ubers, and it will extend to bus transportation. Personal vehicles with full automation will be widely available by the year 2020. If you think that full automation may seem like a convenience or something that is optional, think again. Once these vehicles become adopted and widely available, they will become a necessity before we even know it. In the workplace, companies are constantly finding new ways to become more attractive to the millennial besides offering competitive salaries. Amazon has been testing the 30 hour work week, Airbnb, gives their employees a $2,000 stipend to travel annually. And Netflix even began offering one year parental leave to salaried and hourly employees. And when you're evaluating job opportunities, having a great work-life balance is the most important factor, minus salaries, of course. And by 2025, 75% of the workplace will be millennials and corporate culture will be directly shaped by our very own habits and expectations. Millennials believe in value and independence. So I say all that to say that simply having an inviting workspace isn't enough. Having workplace activities to get the employees involved just is not enough. Creating an attractive and sustainable futuristic workplace isn't thinking large enough. With the advancement of the technology around us, our lifestyles must change as well. Gone is the typical nine to five with 10 to 15 days of paid time off. If any employer doesn't trust their employees to work alone, then why hire them at all? What we must understand is that the concept of having a traditional organizational workplace campus is wasteful. And if companies don't think ahead, they will get left behind. Our lives are slowly transforming toward the shared economy concept. So why not apply that to the work environment? 
Instead of investing more into a lifeless structure, increase your investment in the employee. Interacting with fully automated technology increases our productivity. Humans will literally be able to work from anywhere, any place, at any time. What is the need for actually coming to a physical structure? Companies can incorporate augmented and virtual reality to create the workplace anywhere. By using the software, I can be in the boardroom while driving, while walking the dog, or even while in the shower. This will take teleconferencing to a whole new level. The options are endless. It's time to stop dreaming about the next level and truly take it there. The technology is here, so we must begin to work smarter. The lack of need for a physical structure is great for the environment and decreases our harmful impact on the planet and allowing for more green spaces, which in return preserves the Earth's natural wonders. Now, I'd like to leave you all with a quote by the author Arthur C. Clarke. And it states, any sufficiently advanced technology is equivalent to magic. So if the technology doesn't amaze you or make you wonder how it's even happening, it's not transformational enough. Thank you.